Good morning. For today's video, our topic is two to three step word problems involving multiplication of decimals. And for our word problem of the day, Mrs. Cruz bought three notebooks at 10 pesos and 70 pesos each and a pad paper at 15 pesos and 50 centavos. If her money was 100 peso bill, how much was her change? Again, Mrs. Cruz bought three notebooks at 10 pesos and 75 centavos each and a pad paper at 15 pesos and 50 centavos. If her money was 100 peso bill, how much was her change? Let's have the steps in solving word problem. First, we have to understand the problem. Step number one, what is asked in our problem? Very good. How much was her change? Another? Yes, the total change she received. So that is what is asked in our, uh, in our given problem. Step number two, what are the given facts? Can you give one? Very good, 100 peso bill. Another, very good, three notebooks at 10 pesos and 75 centavos each. Yes? Very good. A pad paper at 15 pesos and 50 centavos. Now, after we understand the problem, we have to plan. So step number three, what operations shall we use to solve the problem? Yes. Very good. We have to add, subtract, and multiply. So our number sentence for this problem is 100 pesos minus open parenthesis 3 times 10 pesos and 70 centavos, close parenthesis, plus 15 pesos and 50 centavos, close parenthesis. Of course, after we understand the problem, after we plan how to solve the problem, let us now solve the given problem. So step number four, we have to show our solution using this number sentence. So first, let's multiply 10 and 75 hundredths times 3. The answer is 32 and 25 hundredths. Next, let's add 32 and 25 hundredths plus 15 and 50 hundredths. And the answer is 47 and 75 hundredths. Finally, let us subtract 100 pesos minus 47 and 75 hundredths. The answer is 52 and 25 
hundreds. So our final answer for this problem is 52 and 25 hundreds or 52 pesos and 25 centavos. Let us now proceed with our second example. Rico saves 6 pesos and 50 centavos on Monday. 4 pesos and 75 centavos on Tuesday. And 9 pesos and 15 centavos on Wednesday. From his allowance for 3 weeks. From his savings, he want to buy a new sleeper which costs 120 pesos and 35 centavos. How much more must he save? Again, Rico saves 6 pesos and 50 centavos on Monday, 4 pesos and 75 centavos on Tuesday, and 9 pesos and 50 centavos on Wednesday from his allowance for three weeks. From his savings, he want to buy a new sleeper which costs 120 pesos and 35 centavos. How much more must he save? So again, what are the steps in solving word problems? First, we have to understand the problem. Step number one, what is asked? Yes, very good. How much more must he save? Another? Very good. The total money that he must need to save. Next. Step number two. What are the given facts in the given problem? Very good. Six pesos and 50 centavos on Monday. 4 pesos and 75 centavos on Tuesday and 9 pesos and 50 centavos on Wednesday for 3 weeks. Another, very good, 120 pesos and 35 centavos. After we understand the problem, we have to plan on how we are going to solve it. Step number three, what operations shall we use to solve the problem? Yes, we have to add, subtract, and of course, multiply. And for our number sentence for this given problem, we have 120 pesos and 35 centavos minus open parenthesis 6 pesos and 50 centavos plus 4 pesos and 70 centavos plus 9 pesos and 15 centavos close parenthesis times 3 then close parenthesis. So of course, after we understand and plan on how to solve the problem, let's now do the actual solving of the given problem. So for step number 4, Show your solution using this number sentence. So first, I have to add 6 and 50 hundreds plus 4 and 75 hundreds plus 9 and 15 hundreds. The total is 20 and 40 hundreds. After I add, I have to multiply it by Three. So 20 and 40 hundreds times 3. The product is 61 and 20 hundreds. So after we get the product, finally, we are going to subtract it by 120 and 35 hundreds minus 61 and 20 hundreds. The difference is 59 and 15 hundreds. So, 
our final answer is 59 pesos and 15 centavos. Always remember, how, how do we solve word problems with two to three steps involving multiplication of decimals? So first, we have to understand the problem. What is asked and what are the given facts? Next, we have to plan. What operations shall we use to solve the problem? And finally, we are going to solve it. Show your solution. And for our matalong of the day, Mila bought two t-shirts at 399 pesos and 99 centavos each and a pair of pants cost 485 pesos and 70 centavos. How much change will she get from her 2,000 peso bill? Again, Mila bought two t-shirts at 399 pesos and 99 centavos each and a pair of pants cost 485 pesos and 70 centavos. How much change will she get from her 2,000 peso bill? Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!